1587, English settlers arrived on an island off the coast of modern-day North Carolina. They called it Roanoke. Led by Governor John White, they dreamt of establishing a permanent English colony. The air buzzed with the promise of adventure and hope. They built houses, planted crops, and started families. Life was hard, but it was theirs. They were pioneers, pushing boundaries. White left for England, promising to return soon. Fate had other plans. His return was delayed by the Anglo-Spanish War. Three years passed before he could return. In August 1590, White's ship dropped anchor off the island. The familiar shoreline filled him with trepidation and excitement. What awaited him? Had the colony flourished or was it tragedy? As White's landing party rode towards the shore, an eerie silence hung in the air. Gone were the sounds of life that had greeted him three years prior. The settlement was deserted. Buildings stood empty, some in disrepair. Possessions lay scattered as if abandoned in haste. Panic gnawed at the edges of White's mind. Where were the colonists? What had become of the men, women and children he had left behind? Had they been attacked, disease, or something even more sinister? White searched frantically for any sign of his colonists. He called out their names into the oppressive silence, but only his own echo returned. Despair threatened to consume him, but then he saw it, a clue etched into the surface of a tree. Carved into the wood was a single word, Croatoan, Croatoan. The name sent a jolt of recognition through White. It was the name of a nearby island, home to a friendly Native American tribe. Could the colonists have sought refuge there? Had they been forced to flee, it was the only lead he had. With renewed hope, White pleaded with the ship's captain to take them to Croatoan Island. They had come so far, faced so much, only to be met with this unsettling mystery. But a fierce storm was brewing, and the captain, fearing for his ship and crew, refused. Defeated and heartbroken, White was forced to abandon his search and return to England. He would never see Roanoke or its inhabitants again. The colonists of Roanoke had vanished, leaving behind nothing but unanswered questions and the haunting inscription, Croatoan. The mystery of their disappearance gripped the imagination of the world. How could an entire colony simply vanish? What fate had befallen them? Theories abounded, but the truth remained elusive, lost to the mists of time and the secrets of the island. The word Croatoan became a beacon of hope and a source of endless speculation. Had the colonists sought refuge with the Croatoan tribe? Did the word signify a location, a message, or something more sinister? The answer, like the colonists themselves, seemed lost to the ages. Over the centuries, numerous expeditions have attempted to unravel the mystery of Roanoke. Archaeologists have combed the island, historians have pored over old documents, and scientists have used modern technology to search for clues. Yet the colonists have left no trace, no skeletal remains, no abandoned villages on Croatoan Island. Some believe the colonists were assimilated into the local Native American tribes, their English identities fading with each passing generation. Others speculate they fell victim to disease, starvation, or conflict with other indigenous groups. The truth, however, remains as elusive as ever. Could the colonists have perished in the unforgiving wilderness? The early days of colonization were fraught with danger. Disease, starvation, and conflict with Native Americans were constant threats. Perhaps the colonists were ill-prepared for the harsh realities of life in the New World. Or did something more sinister befall them? Were they attacked by hostile tribes? Did they fall victim to internal strife or some unknown peril lurking in the shadows of the unexplored continent? The lack of evidence only fuels the imagination, allowing for a chilling array of possibilities. Some historians point to evidence of contact between the colonists and local tribes, suggesting the possibility of peaceful integration. Could the inscription of Croatoan have been a message? A sign that they had moved on, seeking a new life among the indigenous people? If so, did they find acceptance and peace, or did their English heritage become a burden in their new lives? Whatever their fate, the lost colony of Roanoke has become an enduring enigma, a testament to the fragility of life and the power of the unknown. It serves as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by early explorers and the mysteries that still lie hidden within our world. Centuries have passed since John White last set foot on Roanoke Island, yet the questions linger. The mystery continues to fascinate, 
to inspire books, films, and countless theories. It remains a haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring power of the unknown. The lost colony of Roanoke stands as a silent sentinel to the past, its secrets carefully guarded by the passage of time. It is a tale whispered on the wind, a mystery that continues to captivate and intrigue us centuries after the last footprint faded from the sandy shores of the island. Though the fate of the colonists remains a mystery, their story continues to resonate. It speaks to our innate desire to explore, to push the boundaries of the known world. History is not always clear-cut. Some stories may never have a neat ending. The Lost Colony of Roanoke is a story of courage, resilience, and loss. It challenges us to confront the unknown and grapple with unanswered questions. Their legacy lives on in the enduring mystery of their disappearance. Roanoke stands as a place where history and mystery intertwine.